York University. Now we're going to be going into our 2v2 game in the series, the third game in each series in the CSL, as always, is a 2v2. And that's so that since the series are always at best of five, you are always going to be seeing at least three games. No, the third game is the 2v2 simply because 2v2s are really underrated, they're amazing. There's always a ton of action happening and the CSL actually wants to encourage more teamwork and actually the CSL is really modeled after the Korean leagues, the, the Korean Star League. So it's more because of that actually. Never mind about what I just said. Anyways, let's get right into game number two. So, spawning at the bottom of the map, or should I say, towards the bottom left corner of the map, we have Chinese Wife and Refrain. These guys are a Protoss and a Terran who play for New York University. Now, we have Chronic Beast and Thobo. Both of these players play for Brown University and they're a Circ player and a Terran player. So we have a ZT against a DP. Now something curious about 2v2 games and basically any any matchup that involves a team game is that you always want to have at least one Zerg in your in your side simply because Zergs in team games are the backbone of the team game. You always want to have that early pressure and that's exactly why we see the Cirque player for Brown University going for that early spawning pool. That's actually before his first overlord is complete. So at the same time I think we're gonna see both player both teams rushing. We see two barracks going up at this moment from for refrain no refinery started yet that's surprising well not really concerned that he's going for the two barracks at this moment and the only thing that we would be missing right now is for Chinese wife to go for a fort and start kind of rushing somebody oh my god what's this both players are actually going to go for a rush and I believe Chronic Beast has six bullet guys successfully. At the same time he has managed to get a hundred minerals just in time. Oh my god. Chronic wife Chinese wife, I mean, might just be doomed because he can't build a wall yet. And he's not gonna have the resources for quite a long time. These Zerglings could probably take, could have probably taken them, both the Marine and the Zealot. No, is this prop going to survive? No, it doesn't. But we see how many Zerglings so far. That makes nine Zerglings. Now, see, this is why two v two games are so interesting because it's our, it's only four minutes into a game, but we already see a ton of engagement, ton of action going down, and sadly. Brown University has lost all of its army. Now New York University is chasing these remaining two marines from Brown University. New York University doesn't seem to have the speed to get to them, but at the same time we see a defensive bunker obviously going down for Brown University. And now the ones in retreat are going to be New York University, but those circles with the metabolic boost on quickly kill off Brown's army. I mean New York University's army. And no New York University is out match simply because out number I should say not out match. Simply because of these Marines. That's a lot of Marines. They don't allow the bunker to get up. 
those silhouettes could be better micro and now we see Brown University retreating once again back but there there we have more reinforcing circlings and at the same time we have these circlings which are causing a ton of damage is this actually a perfect block? he might actually be just able to run past this if he realizes that this is not completely walled off so Brown University keeping on the pressure on New York University and the circlings are going insane they don't know what to do the bunker is killed off it wasn't cancelled and now Brown University has the advantage these pylons are going to go down which is going to supply cap Chinese wife so that's a lot of units for Brown University and oh my god a fail that was a fail for a uh, force field and New Church University doesn't have how to stop Brown University at this moment more reinforcing units coming in from New York I mean Brown University and New York University's Protoss players getting murdered right now the Marines target fire the pylons while these probes do a ton of damage to economy line and all of these probes are probably going to just die now Thobo the drone player for Brown University is joining his third companion into killing the Protoss player and now the Protoss player is out of units I believe yes the Protoss player is out of the game successfully he doesn't even have any minerals left because he probably gave all of the remaining minerals he had to his Tehran partner now Brown University shouldn't even care about the New York University Protoss player Chinese wife now this game is only going to be now on uh, refrain just defending against Brown University so it's now a one versus two and could we see a miracle coming in from refrain it's going to be extremely difficult now because he has to deal against two players instead of a, a single one so that's an excellent choice by Brown University to begin killing off these destructible rocks in order to take that high yield expansion and that's even better the Terran player seems to be the one setting up to take that expansion and there we go yes he is he's the one setting up to take that, that expansion which means that Brown University is going to have a massive lead simply because they're gonna have also the high yield expansion app with mules there we see two mules going down in the high yield expansion and at the same time refrain New York University's long hope trying to make a miracle happen oh my god some circles tend to run into refrain's base but they weren't successful at doing so now these destructible rocks are going to go down which means Refrain is going to be able to take this expansion there we see that uh, I was going to say drone transfer but those are recipes what am I saying now are we seeing anything else happen no who knows maybe maybe simply because Refrain took this expansion we're gonna see a miracle happen that would actually put him even in income when compared to Brown University's Terran player. Now the problem with that is obviously that there is always this third player. Which means New York University is really dealing with two players right now instead of only one. And Brown University is only dealing against one player instead of two. Now this circling is for sure going to eliminate Chinese wife of this matchup out of this matchup I mean yeah Chinese wife is already out anyway simple because he doesn't have any minerals left but we see refrain mining crazy those minerals now I actually think he might have it oversaturated yes indeed he does have it oversaturated special because there are only six high yield 
mineral patches here, which means he only would need 24 SUVs to mine on them successfully. No, oh my god, can New York University survive the siege tanks had taken their siege mode? And oh my god, no way! It seems. It just seems Refrain might have what it takes to survive this attack. And yes, indeed, he's going to be able to survive this attack thanks to the siege tanks. Now he has to be thankful that Tobo didn't produce any siege tanks himself. He's just going with a mainly bio composition. And he's also getting a starport while getting a reactor into his own factory. Which could only mean that we're gonna see Hellion drops. Now, some circling trying to do a run by. They might actually be successful if they try it right now. Never mind, there are enough units now to defend against them. He sees some marines, he still sees the bunkers up, and he decides to retreat. Oh my god, I just realized something! Look at this! These SCVs are actually following an SCV. Are they still doing so? No, oh, I think he finally realized his error and has decided to correct it. Yes, he has finally realized his error and has corrected it. Something that would work perfectly for the for our Zerg player would be Banelings. That would be just perfect to counter this army. Especially if they are joined by Thobel's own bio composition. Now we see Thobel taking an aura expansion. I wonder where he's going to land there. Let's keep on going. It it might very well be this expansion. There we go. It is indeed that expansion. Maybe, oh my god, I have no idea. It seems to be that. Which obviously would mean that. What is this? Refrain is actually keeping up in expansions, no way. Uh, I'm impressed. And Refrain is actually deciding to move out. What? So, in a 1 versus 2, the lone player, the single turn player, is the one that decides to move against the two powerhouses. He steams his marines, sieges up, and begins taking down on the bio armies. Now these siege tanks are doing a ton of damage, and I think my computer have, might have just crashed. There we go. Never mind. For some reason, the replay wasn't loading. Sorry, guys. And now I think Thobel should actually look into attacking through an alternative alternate path. He could just simply go here through this right side of the map and just go straight into the front door of Refrain at which point Refrain would be able to do much. Now oh my god why did you siege? That is a terrible choice. You should never do it. Just leapfrog guys. If you're ever caught in a situation like this just leapfrog with your units. Now see this is why. Thobel is able to clean up Refrain's army and now Refrain is on the run for his life. He doesn't have any siege tanks currently at his base, which simply means that an attack from Thobel could easily wipe him off. Now Thobel is actually setting himself up to do a drop into the third expansion, which used to be a main of Rain Refrain. Now this drop, oh my god, are, is it going to die? This drop seems to be taken down, and yes indeed. It is going to be taken down. Well, uh, I mean, the, at, le at least the medivac survives. The, the marines, on the other hand, have died. <coughs> now the drop has finally taken place. <coughs> Sorry guys. And Thobel has decided to attack directly into the mineral line of... Refrain's third, and Refrain is just simply going to lose this expansion because he has no way to defend against it. Now we see a massive drop being set up by Refrain. Now, is he going to be able to get another siege tank up? Yes, he is. And no way. Chrony Beast, with his perfect overlook placement, sees Refrain moving out. And warns his has warned his ally. 
Now we see a drop into it. Into what is more of a main. For refrain. And it should be cleaned up. No, never mind. The drop survives. Oh my god. No way. This drop has survived for double. I know it's going to do massive damage. That siege tank should be moved up. But at the same time, we see another drop from Refrain, which is failing. It is going to get cleaned up. It fails. And Refrain is left with basically nothing at this point. This drop hasn't been cleaned up. A lot of SVs have died. In the units lost, we see. Just look at this. Thobble has. I mean, Refrain has lost the most units. Followed by Thobble. But Thobble can simply afford to give them up. Simply because he has three expansions. The most out of any player here. And we still see a drop now in the main. And this drop should be cleaned up. Please be cleaned up. This is terrible for Refrain if it isn't. The Medivax died. And the drop finally gets cleaned up after like six minutes of the same drop just doing damage. It took a whole expansion by itself and it basically prevented all mining from the high yield expansion which is basically out of minerals by now. And that also means that now Refrain is basically just back into his main base. Now Thobel taking a second high yield expansion pretty nice selection from him. And now we see Mutas from Chronic Beast out in the field. Now, these Mutas are just going to be a pest to deal with for Thobble. I mean, Refrain. Now, Thobble has finally set up his other expansion. He's taking a Nord Command Center. I mean, Orbital Command. And that's actually a pretty nice decision, simply because he will get even more income than he has right now. In the Income tab, we see Thobble just skyrocketing across the map. Oh my god, Thobble is about to be done with his infantry weapons level 3. He's 2 2 right now against a uh, 0 0 army. I mean, uh, never mind, against the 2 2 army also. And Thobble is going to be able to clean up this mess. Is Thobble going to finally break into refrain? Oh, yes, definitely. Brown University seems to be the clear winner in the second game. Uh, in, I mean, in this 2v2 game. There we go. We see the GG going down from Refrain. Chinese Web throws his own GG. Which means that Brown University has successfully taken this 2v2 to bring the series 2 to 1 against New York University. Now, we will be going into game number 4 shortly.